We're on the sign-in screen of the LMS right now. The drop-down allows us to select a language out of available options. First, let us log in as manager. Enter the manager's user ID. Type the password. Click the sign-in button to proceed. Now you can see the home page for a manager. Here we can see the welcome message at the top. We can see the training, which is available in the LMS. We can see various options in the sidebar, which are relevant to the managers or trainers. Let's explore course in the sidebar. We can see course repository, which lists all available courses. The list also shows when a particular course was created. Let's try creating a course by uploading it. Click on Upload Course button on the right-hand top corner of the screen. The course can be any format, such as SCORM, a PowerPoint presentation, or a PDF file. Now let's give our course a name. Type a name into the text box. Browse and select the file to be uploaded. Click on the Upload button. The course is uploaded successfully, and we can see the message at the top of the screen. The newly uploaded course is visible in the course repository at the bottom of the list, along with the creation date. Now let's learn how to create a training. Click on Training in the sidebar. We can see trainings created so far. As a list, some of the important columns in the list are Training ID, Training Name, Training Start Date, Training End Date, and Number of Learners Enrolled in the Training. Let's try creating a training now. Click on Create Training button on the right-hand top corner of the screen. We can create training by giving it a descriptive name and a short ID. Also, each training must have a course attached to it, which is called Learning Object. Finally, a start date and end date, the time period within which the training will remain active. Click the Next button to proceed. The training is successfully created. The next thing to do with a training is to assign it to a group of people. There are many ways to do that. For example, you can select users from the list. There are various selection options such as user-wise, role-wise, band-wise. Another way is bulk upload of learner for the training. This can be done by downloading a sample Excel file and filling it with the detail for bulk upload of users. Let us select a single user. Click Next on Enroll button. We can see that the training has been successfully assigned. So now we've successfully created the training, assigned a course to it, and also assigned a learner to the training. We can see the newly created training in the list of trainings now. Now we'll log out from the manager's account and see what the trainees or learners can do. Let's sign in as a trainee account and see what features are available to learners. Go to the sign in window. Type in user ID and password of the learner we just now assigned to the training. Click the sign in button to proceed. Now you can see the home page for a learner. Here we can see the welcome passage and various courses which are assigned to this learner. The most recent training is at the top of the list. The learner can play the e-learning by clicking on the play button. We'll quickly go through this training. Welcome on board. Now let's go back and see a few training reports. Go to My Training Report section. Here we can see all the trainings assigned and their status. As we can see here, Induction Module was one of the assigned, for which the status shows incomplete, which implies that the learner has not finished it yet. More than 150 reports are available, which can be activated. Also, many new reports can be created on request. The ad hoc analytical reports are available, which show the data based on the chosen ad hoc criteria. All reports can be exported to the Excel sheet. Graphical reports are available, such as this pie chart, bar chart. These reports help in comparative analysis of learning data. Many learners have team members reporting to them. A user can see all the team members by clicking My Reportee in the sidebar. Progress of team members can be monitored. This allows small teams to learn better. The learners can update their profile by clicking on My Profile in the sidebar. Here we can see the stored profile information of the users. We can change the language of communication if required. The Change Password option helps in managing passwords. Type Old Password, type New Password, repeat the password, then click on Submit. It's that simple. 
We're now back on the home page of the user. Now let's log out and see the report from the manager's ID. Again, type the manager's ID and password. Click sign in to proceed. Now let's see reports. Training reports for induction module. We can see the number of people enrolled, completed the test and the status of the course active or not. To download the report, click on Excel or PDF icon available at the top right corner. We can see the PDF that we've downloaded. Next, we'll learn how to create new users in the LMS. Click on Create User in the sidebar. Fill all the details one by one. Type the employee ID, first name, last name. Select Gender, then click Next. Now type the email ID, location, department, language. Click the Next button again. Enter Reporting Manager's email ID and Manager's ID. Finally, click on the Finish button. These are standard fields, but each organization will like to store the user information as per their own situation. Therefore, we add more fields as per your request as the type of setting up the LMS for you. If you wish to create many users simultaneously, we have the option of Upload Bulk Users. Click Bulk Upload, download the sample file. Fill all the details. Save the file. Now choose the same file by clicking on Choose File. Click on the Upload button. The file is successfully uploaded. To log out, click Log Out. The LMS is based on Advanced Workflow Configuration Framework. Therefore, many customizations are possible. Customizations can be as simple as changing the user interface or adding reports to as complex as interacting with third-party systems or adding new workflows. For more information, please contact us on james at stratbeans.com or leave us a message on the website. Thanks for watching the demo.